You may want to record some new chords into your arrangement of When Doves Fly. So at the moment I've just got one of the chord loops that were already made. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to delete it and create my own. So the first thing I need to do is add a software instrument track. Of course, you can add a real instrument track if you're going to play the chords on, say, a guitar, if you play guitar. But I'm going to use a software instrument, and I'm going to play the chords uh, on the music keyboard as usual. Now, there are lots of different instruments in here. You might want a guitar sound or a keyboard sound, but have a look under synth pads. There's some interesting electronic sounds under there. I've just chosen one called Cloud Break, and that's what it sounds like. That's the first chord. That's the second chord. So that's what that one sounds like. I'm going to use that because it's an interesting kind of sound. OK, so now we need to learn the individual chords. And there are four chords in this progression. You'll need to learn one and you, one at a time, and then you'll need to practice them one after another. So here's the first one, and this is A minor. It uses the notes A, C, and E. If you play guitar, this is how you play the A minor chord on guitar. So you need to practice the A minor chord first. The next thing you need to do is practice the change from A minor to the next chord, which is D minor. So there's A minor, and then look at those two notes move up to play D minor chord. That's D, F, and A. Again, if you play guitar, here's what the guitar chord looks like. So the first chord is A minor, and the second chord is D minor. OK. Now we practice the shift again. This time we go from D minor to G major. G major, that's the notes G, B, and D. So that's your G major chord. Again, if you play guitar, this is what a G major chord pattern looks like on guitar. And the last shift from the third to the fourth chord is from G to E major. So there's the G major chord, and here's the E major chord, E, G sharp, and B. Again, if you play guitar, here's what E major looks like as a guitar chord pattern. So you should practice playing each chord one at a time, and then you should practice playing them one after another. And just begin it slowly, like this. Back down to the A into the D minor, then to G, then to E major, back to A minor, to D minor, and so on and so forth. Just continuing playing that chord pattern over and over again until you can play it in time. Another cheat, of course, is to go down to here and change the tempo of the song when you record it, so you can actually record at a slower tempo.